Today, we are going to learn how to create a scatter plot in R Studio. The first thing that you need for a scatter plot is a variable from a dataset. I covered how to create variables in a previous video. Some examples of variables are sepal underscore length and width, petal underscore length and width, and species. To create a scatter plot, we will use the function plot. Type plot in parentheses, your x value, mine will be sepal underscore length, comma, your y value, mine will be petal underscore width. Now, once you run the code, you will see the scatter plot in the bottom right corner of your screen. Now, if you would like to add a title to the scatter plot, add a comma, then main equals in parentheses, whatever you want to title your scatter plot. I'll title mine correlation between petal width and sepal length. So once you run it, you'll see that I now have the title of correlation between petal width and sepal length. There is a similar process if you also want to add X and Y labels. All you need to do is simply replace main with XLab or YLab. So if we wanted to have our X label to be sepal length, we would write the same code as the title, just replace main with XLab. So comma XLab equals in quotations sepal length. Now, when you run it, you will see that sepal length is our X label. And you can do a similar thing when you hit Y lab equals in quotations pedal width. And you'll see that pedal width has become our Y label. If you would like to add a line of best fit to your graph, simply replace the function plot with scatter.smooth. This will give you a trend line, but it will not be linear. So, as you can see below, it adds a trend line between pedal width or between sepal length and pedal width. However, the trend line is not a straight line. Instead, it gives the line of best fit of whatever the data is. So, we learn how to create a scatter plot using the plot function, labeling, and the scatter.smooth function. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.